All right, everyone. And as I spoke of in my um, Faster Than Light playthrough, hey, look, there goes the helmet. I want to. Uh, I, I love Kerbal Space Program. It's a fantastic game. I think they're doing great things with it every single update. I've been playing since um, three versions now so far. So I am not super experienced with it. I have gotten rockets and designed rockets powerful enough and large enough to get to the moon even with my poor piloting ability I have crashed into the surface of the MUN as it is in this game but I haven't quite actually landed on the MUN so with as I spoke about I in my other video I want to actually design a stock space or a airplane or space plane powerful enough to make it to the south pole and then return back to Kerbin. And that's my plan. So I'm actually going to get started on that. This is the first time I've booted up the game in uh, 0.17. So my player name is going to be Gopa. And I look forward to the career mode. I have some planes that I have designed that have been very very simple to fly and it'd be nice to start training and getting ready to conduct large-scale missions on those so I'm gonna go into the space plane hangar here and start designing a very simple um, actually I think I'm gonna have to go large-scale in order to have the power to can I load any spacecraft? Oh, these are all ships that come with the game. Alright. I was wondering if any of my ships made it through, but I would, as I'd imagine, they probably died. So, I'm going to start with the Mach 3 cockpit. Get a nice little aerial view over here. So, I, my plans is going to be a sort of biplane site or uh, sort of design with two solid stages coming above and below to hopefully provide enough power and fuel and everything to get this bad boy and uh, the performance that I'm desiring so let's start slapping on some mark 3 fuel lodges here uh as a test, I'm just going to do two for right now. I can always extend it and add more engines and everything later. I just want to see exactly how this handles in the beginning. Um, I think I want an adapter just so it doesn't look quite so funny. And we'll go ahead and rotate this bad boy. Rotate, rotate. Um, adapter. That still looks funny. Oh well. Slap on an avionics package. What is this? Ah, huh. a large SAS module. Sure, I'll be during the long flights. I can go in and stick one of these in. I just don't like how it fits right there. So, come on, come on. Don't be a penis, please. There we go. There we go. Alright. Um, oh, that looks so ugly. I'll try and work an SA ASS module in later. Advance, SAS, alright. As I punch my microphone, once again, I think that's going to be... Huh. Rocks. Hmm, that might actually make it so it's not so ugly, except it's gigantic. Hmm, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the ugly. We'll just not look at the front of the the ship. Maybe actually. 
There we go. Um, yeah, just don't look at the front of the ship, people. It's ugly. I know it's ugly. I don't like how it looks either. Uh, I need to put the game in full screen mode. I can't actually see far enough down to click on the next page. This is unfortunate. Um, what to do? What to do? All right. Uh, it's I can see parts. I'll have to next time I go through. I'll have to move it down or into full screen mode. I just can't see enough. So I want long, long, long wings to have a lot of lift. That's going to be the second point of this plane. It needs it's going to need lift coming out the wazoo because it's going to be so heavy. All right. Try and make everything look nice and nice and even. All right. What does our centers look like? Center of lift. That's not what I wanted, game. Uh, please stop trolling me, Kerbal. Please. All right. Center of lift. Center. I don't have any thrust yet, and I think this is center of gravity. Uh, try and get these close as possible. For now, anyways. I'll have to move, adjust and everything once I start attaching more weight to this bad boy. Just some structural pylons to keep these fragile thin looking wings nice and stable. Let's throw on some... Oh, those are new. Huh. But I want turbojet engines later. Alright. So I want a nice adapter to fit my turbojet engine onto the back of this plane. And looking at my time, I'm probably going to have just enough time to get this um, test at least built enough to fly once before I have to wrap things up and start moving on with my other plans for this evening. Alright. So that's my center of gravity still is right there in the middle of the plane, so we'll have to move this. Damn it. I would like symmetry, please. Make sure our center of lift and center of gravity are pretty much on top of each other. They are. Now we'll have to strap on some... This is an ugly, ugly plane for right now, but trust me, it's just a test plane. I plan on improving it, and in a bit, I just want to make sure it can actually fly first. I'm always, I've always been a fan of these dual tail wings. I don't know why, I just like the way they look. and add a delta wing up front like I said earlier lift is the name of the game and we need it hmm cuz I may end up having to glide in depending on how much fuel I consume and how much I have left at the end of my flight. All right. So now I need some control surfaces so that I can actually fly this bad boy. So I'll put some in the middle. I'll put one in the middle to act like a sort of rudder. No more mirroring please. That looks just about perfect.
perfect. Yes. Alright. Put mirroring back on, please, so that I can add these uh, elevators. Flippy flip, flip, flip. There we go. Come on, there. Some elevators on the tail portion. Oh, that was just perfect. There we go. And it looks like our center of gravity is just about our center of lift. Although I do believe we will need... I'm going to put some slow burning uh, regular jet engines on, the, on here just to ensure that we have sufficient lift capabilities. One of these bad boys. That way I can jettison my excess engines. when I don't require them anymore. That looks good, but something tells me we're gonna I'm gonna want a bit more oomph. So another set of engines probably will be required. Alright. And Mark 1 fuel sludge with jet fuel. Please give me. Thank you. Alright. How does that look? Oh, beautiful. It's almost perfectly centered. That's exactly what I want, I believe. I'm not actually that confident. I did read up a little bit on the center of thrust and center of lift. But it, I, as this is the first, you guys seeing it here? will be the first time I've seen it so again I don't quite know and I think that looks good these engines are a little angled I don't know how that's going to perform the or influence the performance of our flight but we're gonna go ahead and give it the good old spaceman try so landing bay on the, that small compact frame and everything, I could get to uh, the continent across the sea with plenty of fuel remaining and still have uh, a nice flight or uh, have enough for maneuverings. I just never actually did anything with it because I got busy with schoolwork and everything. But I do plan on just having another set of sideways landing gear, that way to keep it from tipping. Alright, I'm going to title this one Southern Express. Save it. Mark 1, actually. Mark 1. Save it. And let's see how this performs. I'm going to actually stop recording here until it loads in because I am rendering out my faster than light video as doing this and it's taking away a little bit. I'm only pulling 12 frames here sitting in the building platform. So, all right, well, I'm loaded in and looking at this, something tells me I'm not quite going to fly. We are uh, tilted quite severely. So you three brave Kerbins, I can't actually see what you guys look like or what you guys' names are because of the non full screen window or the windowed mode I'm playing in. And as expected, trying to render and record is not doing too well. So you guys get to live for now. I'll be right back once I make it so my plane doesn't wobble.
Alright everyone, it seems to be loaded in, but my frames are still very, very bad. So I'm going to actually not record the liftoff, and I will be with you guys once we are in, app, in air. Thank you, and I'll see you in a second. Bye. Okay, well, for those of you who were expecting to see me in air, I went back and made a quick design change. I moved this rear engine to the back because as it flew or when it finally took off it did a quick roll and smashed into the ground so I also added some parachutes to try and ensure my Kerbal's lives doubtful and I'm going to add some wings at the very end to try and increase lift in the back without causing this crazy roll thing in the back to try and help balance out the plane so, and I'm going to add some more control surfaces just for my own ability to fly this crazy thing when it gets airborne. It was scooting and turning, it was just madness. At one point, I was throttled completely down, trying to save it. It was just insane. So, okay, this is not working. Let's just try these smaller ones. Okay, no control surface. But while I was thinking, I might actually be able to get away with adding an a uh, SAS module in the back followed by the engine and just routing fuel lines to it just since it's I would imagine it's going to be a, fall, a very long flight and I don't want to come running back and seeing it smash into the ground in case I had to run and do something real quick that would be the antithesis of pleasant alright why didn't you do a dual fill line like I wanted? Game. Game. Thank you, game. Alright, so this is now the Southern Express Mark 1.1. Save. And I will be back with you guys once we... Alright, and I am back. And uh, that is terribly, terribly loud. So I apologize if you guys are that's fine. And while we are not rolling, I am suffering some massive frame rate issues. And my Kermans are all ecstatic to be alive. They're loving it. So I think I'm going to start the recording when I've reached level 5. However, unfortunately, I think I'm only going to have enough time here for one more video or one more attempt at this. So I'm going to leave off right here with this lovely view and I will be right back. Alright, and we are airborne. Well, everyone, after um, quite a bit of over engineering and everything, this is what I'm left with. Even the slightest correction sends me into this crazy spinning vortex of death. Even with SAS doing everything it can, it's, it's insane just watching this thing. It's been going for about three minutes now just doing this. I went from about 5,000 meters, now I'm around 300, and it just flopped around like a fish out of the water. I... please leave a comment or something. I'm gonna take another look at it. I'll try and reduce... what I think is the problem, it has too much for, uh, thrust above the center of gravity, and it does that loop 
backwards loop de loop. So I'm thinking maybe if I had another engine or if I shifted the engines back a bit away from the fore of the plane. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at it. I I gotta go work out. It's I'm running out of time. I gotta eat uh, and everything tonight. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back when I get another chat. It's probably not tomorrow. I have tomorrow's my busy day. Maybe no, not probably it's gonna be Saturday before I can get another video up. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye.